Hello everybody and welcome to my mama's kitchen. Today we're going to be doing mojarra frita with some stuffing. First you're going to need about three or four cloves of garlic, a small handful of cilantro, one jalapeno, two sticks of celery, about one fourth of an onion. You're also going to be needing consomme de pollo, garlic salt, and fish seasoning. If you don't have them, trust me, they are an investment. What my mom likes to use for frying the fish is canola oil. The most important ingredient, of course, are the mojarras. So for this, we're going to be using three nice big mojarras. And you're going to need a bowl to place them in where you're going to be washing them and leaving them in order to prep. You're also going to need a nice large pan to fry your fish. So you're also going to be needing one lemon. This is going to be going in your stuffing. So make sure that you have a bowl to place your stuffing in. And you're just going to go ahead and start cutting the lemon into wedges like so. Make sure to take off all of the seeds. Once you're done with the lemon, just grab your onion and slice it. After you're done slicing it, you're going to go ahead and put it into the same bowl that the lemon is in. Once you're done with the onion, you're going to grab your garlic cloves and you're going to go ahead and slice them as well. Once you're done slicing all of the cloves, you're going to put them into the same bowl where the stuffing is. Next, you're just going to go ahead and take your celery sticks. You're going to go ahead and slice them and then add it to your stuffing bowl. You're then going to take your cilantro and just chop it up. Make sure you take off any of the stems that are way too big. Now onto the jalapeno. We're gonna go ahead and just slice it like so. And then my, what my mom likes to do after she's done slicing the jalapeno is that she'll just tap off some of the seeds. Um, she does leave a little bit of seeds to give it some spice, but she won't leave all of the seeds. After that, she'll just add it to the bowl with the rest of the stuffing. Finally, we're going to start seasoning our stuffing. We're going to go ahead and put some fish seasoning. Then we're going to go ahead and add some garlic salt. Remember, we're Hispanic. We don't measure. After that, we're going to go ahead and put some consomme de pollo. Don't question the process. Just do it. Now, we're just going to go ahead and mix it up real good. Time to prep the fish. We're going to start off by washing the fish. You want to make sure that the fish doesn't have any scales or any of the slimy stuff inside of its stomach. Now for the fish washing, you have to make sure that you wash it really good and thoroughly. So as you can see, my mom is really digging her finger inside of the gills to make sure that it's nice and clean. She's even washing out the mouth of the fish. She's then going to go ahead and Screw up the tail, screw up the fins, you're scrubbing the fish all over. She's going to wash the inside yet again, and she's going to make a bigger slit in the stomach just so that there's enough room for the stuffing. You're going to repeat this process for all three of the fishes. Once you're done washing the fish, you're going to go ahead and put them into a bowl. You're going to fill this bowl with water and rinse the fish out. Of course, you're going to be using cold water for this. So we do this to make sure that the fish are nice and clean. I know we already washed them, but as you can see, the water is still pretty dirty. So my mom repeats this process about three or four times. 
The goal is to have the water as clear as it can be. After you're done washing the fish, you're just going to go ahead and drain the water and leave the fish in the bowl. We're now going to heat up our oil. We're going to have it on a medium heat. We're going to put as much oil necessary in order to cover half the fish when it's laying on its side. As our oil is heating up, we're going to prep our fish. So we're going to get our fish in the bowl. We're going to cut off their tails and make slices on the fish. My mom does three on each side. Just make sure that when you're doing this, that you don't go beyond the fish's spine. You're going to repeat this for all three fishes. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take our fish. We're gonna grab some paper towels and start drying it up. You wanna make sure that the fish is nice and dry on the outside, on the inside, it skills all over the place. Once you're done drying the fish, we're going to go ahead and season it up. We're going to get our garlic salt and sprinkle it all over the fish, front side and the back side, the inside. You're then going to take your fish seasoning and do the same. You're also going to be putting some consomme de pollo. All three of the seasonings, you're going to be sprinkling them all over the fish. Then we're going to take our stuffing and stuff the guts of our fishy. You're going to repeat this for all three of the fishes. Another thing that my mom likes to do is that she'll grab some lemon wedges and she'll stuff them inside of the fish's gills, like so. Once you're done stuffing your fish, you're going to go ahead and put it in the oil. Your oil should have been heating up for about five minutes now. As you can see, we didn't close the slit where the stuffing went in. We just put the fish to fry like that. Depending how big your pan is, if it could fit another fish, make sure you place it inside and raise the heat a bit. Alright, so our fish has been frying for about 15 minutes. So advice from my mom, when you want to check if the fish is ready, you want to lift it just a little bit. You don't just want to flip it all the way because it might not be ready. So three minutes have passed since we last checked our fish and it was time to flip. When you're flipping, make sure that you do so carefully so that none of your stuffing comes out. Make sure to lay down some paper towels so when your fish is done frying, you can place it on there to drain some of the oil. Eight minutes after flipping our fish, they are ready. So we're just going to go ahead and place them on the paper towel to let them dry a little bit. Then we're finally going to put our last fish to fry. And voila, your fish is ready to eat. You could go ahead and pair this with some salad like I did here, or you could eat it with some arroz and tortillas. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like and thumbs up this video and subscribe to My Mama's Kitchen.